Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on the introduction to Laplace transform. And we just recall from the first video that the Laplace transform of a function ft is written as capital Fs which is equal to integral of the function ft multiplied by e raised to the power minus st dt where s is the complex frequency. Okay, let's uh, uh, derive the two um, uh, uh, Laplaces for sine and cosine functions. Uh, this is a sequel of the first video. So we'll go step by step. This is the formula that we'll be using. So Laplace of sine omega t sine omega t will not write ut because this integral is from 0 to infinity. We are doing unilateral Laplace. So it is not from minus infinity to infinity, rather it is from 0 to infinity. That means it is also covers ut which is 1 uh, for 0 to infinity. So sine omega t Laplace is integral of the function. So this is the function multiplied by e s t d t so multiplied by e s t d t now we'll use uh, uh, Euler's formula to convert this into exponential form so this is Euler formula for cosine and sine for in this case we'll be using this formula and so sine omega t can be written as just follow this e j omega t minus e minus j omega t so this is the function and divided by 2j so divided by 2j and e s t d t we can separate the two terms we take 1 over 2j outside and e j omega t e s t d t this is the first term and the second term is e minus j omega t e minus s t And now since they are both power of E, so we can add the powers. So this is what we get for, from here. And this is for the second one. You just need to arrange a little bit this. E j omega t minus s t or you can write E minus s t plus j omega t. When you take bracket common, then you get this term. Okay, so we were here and now we'll integrate. So I hope you remember the integration of E minus AT is 1 divided by S plus A. So here we'll write 1 plus uh, uh, S minus J, whatever this function is. And then E raised to the power the same function. And then we put the limit. And similarly in this case, 1 over the power and e raised to the power minus the same function and integral limit from 0 to infinity. And we have also discussed in the previous video that when e minus infinity means it is 0. So the first term will become 0 and the second term e raised to the power 0 is 1. So this will be 1 and same here. And so solving multiply minus minus this term will become plus 1 divided by s plus j and this will be minus 1 over s plus j. And now we take common the LCM solve and this is the final answer that we'll get after you solve this s and s gets cancelled and this will be j omega and this will also be j omega so plus 2 j omega so plus 2 j and plus 2 j gets cancelled so omega at the numerator so this is the answer and now we'll do the practice problem which is again inst instead of sine here we have the cosine function so we'll just follow the same pattern we write in terms of exponential from this separate the terms, take commons 
take uh, integral put the limits exactly same way that we had the previous and same same uh, values limits solving following the steps this is the final answer now these were the derivatives and help of the tables given in the book so these are all the derivatives that uh, possible so we had done this in the first video we had done this one for the in the first video we derived this one in the first video we derived these two in this video so we will now be primarily using this table and one or two tables like the properties of Laplace transform and this another property of Laplace transform so these tables to solve all further questions on the Laplace so let's start with this this is a very simple question 15.3 we have to find the Laplace of these the combination of these three functions So we can write them separately. Fs is Laplace of delta t plus 2 Laplace of ut minus 3 Laplace of e raised to the power minus 2 t ut. We'll use this table now. Delta t will be 1, ut will be 1 over s and e raised to the power minus a t will be 1 over s plus 1. So straight away we will plug in the values. From here, you can see our a is my um, two, so for a we'll write two, and now we'll just do the simple uh, simplification, taking LCM this for the solve. So this is the final answer that we get. For example, 15.3. Okay, the practice problem also follows the same technique. So Fs is the Laplace of cos 2t and Laplace of e raised to the power minus 4t. Take help of the table. This is so plugging in the values. Now here omega is 2. So for omega we will write 2 square and a is 4 so s plus 4 and taking the LCM and simplifying we get the final answer. Now problem slightly tricky but we will just follow the technique but t square sine 2t. Now we recall that sine omega t has the Laplace transform omega divided by s square plus omega s square. So first of all we will find the Laplace of sine 2t, this function, which is 2 divided by s square plus 2 square following this formula. And now we will find the Laplace of the complete function. Now this is t square sin 2t, so we will take help of the table. This is the formula given in the book, Laplace of t power n f t is equal to minus 1 power n d n d s n f s. So uh, in our case since n is 2, so we will write it in a more simplified manner. So this is the formula that we will be using at Laplace of t square ft t square sin 2t is minus 1 square d square ds square of fs now fs we have found in this case this is our fs for this case for sin 2t this is fs so we will be using that so minus 1 square d square ds square and this is uh, fs for sin 2t so we plug in that and since this is double differential so we'll do it in two stages minus 1 square will become 1 
and we write into two stages now. First, we'll differentiate uh, this part, and I hope you recall the formula for differentiation by fraction. We'll follow this formula. So dds of this part will be s plus 4 whole square gs square. We like that. Then gs, that is s plus 4, differential of the numerator. The differential of 2 will be 0. Minus numerator and differential of the s square plus 4. So that will be 2s. And since this is multiplying with 0, so this term will vanish. So simplifying this we get this term and now we will again follow the same technique of differentiation. So again now the s square plus 4 square square. So it will be s square plus 4 power 4 and then the denominator and the differential of the numerator same technique. I hope you can follow. Simplifying, now s square plus 4 is common in the both the terms, so we take that out and subsequently this will cancel one of the terms here. So it will be s square plus 3 square and this term simplified will give 12 s square minus 16. So this is the final answer. And now the practice problem again, similar t square cos 3t so we have to find fs for cos 3t first of all so we'll just follow the exact same technique this is the laplace for cos so in this case cos 3t will become s divided by s square plus 3 square or it can be written as s divided by s square plus 9 So Laplace t square cos 3t will use the formula. This was the formula that we derived. So minus 1 square and d square ds square fs. This is our fs in this case. So minus 1 square d square ds of fs from here. Now remember this fs, this fs is not same this fs this is different you could have written it as fs1 or fs2 but anyway so again we minus 1 square will become uh, plus 1 and then we do two differentiations as we did in the previous slide following the formula and I hope you can follow now all these steps again differentiating this now simplifying so this is the final answer which could be further simplified if you want it is given in the book so you just take two common so this is the final answer so I hope this gives you an understanding of how to solve the Laplace transforms with the help of the formulas given in the table. So if you like my video, please subscribe and share. Thank you.